Hello and welcome to Tech Cubicle on SAP. In this video, I am going to explain how you can optimize your time when searching for and working with SAP Notes. I'm going to show you how my free Power Notes Searcher Google Chrome extension works. Note that it can also be used in Microsoft Edge browser. It's effectively the same browser, Chromium project, you know. At the end, I show how to find it in the Chrome Web Store so that you can install it. Let's get into the nitty gritty. With the extension installed in my Chrome browser, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to pin the extension so that it is always visible on the extensions bar. This makes it so much more usable being right there to click on. There, doesn't it look nice? Now let me show you how to use it. We click on my extensions icon to activate it and access the pop-up. On the pop-up, you can see I've been busy here. Let's look at what we have on this pop-up. At the top, we have the search box and go button to start the search. Next, we have the type of search we want to do. Open note numbers will open the SAP note pages of any note numbers found in the search box. You can put any crazy text in here, but if it contains a contiguous number of at least four digits, then the extension will interpret that as a note number and try to open it. Search note contents allows you to search for text in the contents of SAP notes like a knowledge base search. Search SAP Community SCN, well, the title shows my age, but essentially this allows searching of SAP blog pages, documentation, and other areas that we have the SAP website. Search documentation, help.sap.com, allows searching specifically of help.sap.com. Expert search is my secret weapon. Usually if I have a problem that I'm researching, but I maybe get too many results back or really want to restrict the results to a specific product or even a specific support package of a component of a product stack, then I can invoke this nuclear option, expert search. Under the search selection, we have an options link. In the options list, we can turn off open in new tabs. By default, opening note numbers will open a new browser tab, but you may want them to always open in the current tab. We can also turn off the Highlight Note Numbers feature, which highlights in green or yellow the note numbers detected on certain pages of the SAP support site. We can also adjust the note history maximum size. By default, this is 10. So my recommendation is maybe 100. It really depends on how frequently you access SAP notes because the note history is effectively a ring buffer. It will overwrite the oldest entries. Moving on, the shortcuts link, we have some really great quick links to frequent access points. One thing I hate is waiting around for pages to load just so that I can click through to another page to eventually reach my target. With the shortcuts list, I can go straight there. If you have any recommendations for great shortcuts, let me know and I can try to include them. Here we have the note history. As mentioned, this stores the last N number of notes and the history size is set in the options menu above. If I hover over a note number link, you will see the full title of the note. I can click the note number link and it opens a new tab. Note that I am already signed into SAP here using my universal ID. The extension does not do anything with authentication. That is up to you. On the note that I have opened, you can see it, that in the note header, the note number is highlighted green. Hovering the mouse over the note number shows that I have already been here and read this note today. Further down the note page, we have some note numbers highlighted in yellow. The yellow highlighted notes are notes that I have not yet read. They are not yet in my note history. Notice that the year 2014 is highlighted. This is just an unfortunate consequence of having SAP notes that are only four digits long. Dates will be found as notes as well. You may find this when using the extension, but in these cases it is usually easy to identify that this is not a real note number here. Let's scroll down further. In the past, SAP did not put note numbers as links in the notes. If you find there are yellow or green highlighted note numbers and they are not links, don't worry. My extension has made things really easy for you. You can simply double click this and it will open the note. Notice that the header shows I've not yet read this note number. In the extension pop-up, we can find the note is now in our history. The title is there and the version of the note is there. Let's imagine that this is a really great note and we want to keep this one in our history. We don't want it falling off the bottom of the history. 
we can click the three dots to the left of the note number and choose Pin Note. When we reopen the pop-up, we find the note has been moved up into the Pinned section. Now, we won't lose it if we search through 100 notes today. Notice that for each of the notes we also have a link on the component. This is the primary component of the note. Some notes have more than one. If we click this link, we will start a search for notes that have the same component. Remember that notes have multiple components, so if a note has been tagged in this component, it will be listed, but it might not show as being its primary component. Notice also that the results list also highlights SAP note numbers in yellow, and if we have read them, they will be in green. That is a massive time saver. Not going through the same notes over and over again. Let's say we want a PDF version of a note that we have in our history. We find the note in the history, and we click the PDF icon on the right. This opens a pop-up page, so you may need pop-ups enabled for the SAP website. When the pop-up loads, we choose Save as PDF and click Save. Notice one thing, the name of the file has been automatically adjusted for us by the extension. It has changed spaces to underscores and it has added the title and version of the note to the file name. This is really convenient, especially when saving lots of notes related to a project. You never know when you may want to look back at a note at a specific version and when you go to access it, you get the dreaded message. Down in the bottom of the history, we can see how many items are in the history. And we have the export link. The export pop-up is opened, which shows the items in the history along with their detail. Notice that the note titles are also displayed here. So if I wanted to search for a title of a note that I know is in the history, I can search here using the browser find. If we copy everything on the page from the F of the title, we can paste this directly into Excel. Resize the columns slightly and you will see it is the same, even includes the links. Remember we pinned that SAP note in the history earlier? We can unpin it in the same way. We can also use the copy to clipboard function. Let's paste into Notepad. A great feature for use when writing documentation. It also includes the exact version number. The Omni Search function allows us to type the word note into the browser search bar, press space, and then enter one or more note numbers and press return to open them. Notice that this method doesn't adjust the contents of the extension's own search box, which is useful if you have a search term in there that you want to use again in a few minutes. If we highlight this section of text that contains two SAP note numbers, we right click and from the Power Notes Searcher context menu, we can choose Open SAP Note. This will open any note numbers contained within the highlighted text section. We see one, two notes opened. On the context menu, we see a number of search options. These are the same as the search options on the extension pop-up. One last option on the context menu is Pass Note Numbers to Clipboard. This is a great feature that allows you to extract any note numbers from the highlighted text. They are extracted and placed on one line with spaces as separators. This makes it super easy to paste into the extension pop-up search box. And the reason is that the content menu option to Open SAP Note will only open a maximum of 10 SAP notes. If there are more than 10, it doesn't open the rest. So by using this method, we can create rows of 10 and paste into the extension search box. How cool is that? Finally, now you've seen how much time can be saved and how many great features are included, I'm going to show you how you can install this free extension into Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Navigate to Manage Extensions. Follow the link to the Chrome Web Store. You will also find a direct link in the description of this video down below. Search for Power Notes Searcher for SAP and you will find an Add to Chrome button. Mine is already installed, so I only get the option to remove, but it's as easy as that. The extension does not track you or record any information anywhere other than your local browser. 
It doesn't send any information anywhere, and it doesn't manage your login details to the SAP website in any way. That is all as you would normally use it. It simply provides a nice set of features for use when working on SAP sites. If you find it super useful, give the extension a thumbs up. I've put the direct Chrome web store link in the description down below. Drop me a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and always wash your hands after leaving the cubicle. Bye bye.